monocytes let us talk about morphological feature of monocytes the monocyte is the largest mature leukocyte in the peripheral blood measuring approximately 12 to 20 micrometer in diameter the nucleus of a monocyte is large it is single and it is eccentric in position that is present on one side of the cell it may be notched or indented or horseshoe or kidney shaped nucleus and the cytoplasm is abundant it is pale blue and usually clear which means no granules and sometimes it may contain a fine purple dust like granules called as azure granules which may be few or numerous and let us talk about the kinetics lifespan and fate of monocytes the kinetics of monocytes is less well understood than that of granulocytes after these monocytes are released from the bone marrow these monocytes remain in the circulation for 10 to 20 to over 40 hours and then they leave the bloodstream and enter the extravascular tissue in the tissues the monocytes get converted to macrophages and form the part so called tissue macrophage system which is also called as reticuloendothelial system in the tissues they can live for months or even years unless destroyed while performing a phagocytic function so what about the functions of monocytes it has an important role in defense mechanism that is monocytes along with neutrophils play a predominant role in the body defense mechanism their main function is phagocytosis these are most powerful phagocytes when compared to that of the neutrophils and these monocytes are capable of phagocytosing as many as 100 bacteria at a time they also have an ability to engulf larger particles such as rbc's as well as malarial parasites so the process of phagocytosis by monocytes is similar to that of neutrophils and another important function of monocytes is its role in tumor immunity monocytes may also kill tumor cells after sensitization by the lymphocytes and monocytes are responsible for the synthesis of various biological substances like these monocytes can synthesize complement and other biologically important substances let us talk about variations in counts so what is monocytosis increase in the number of blood monocytes above 800 microliter is termed as monocytosis and what are the causes of monocytosis certain bacterial infections such as tuberculosis syphilis and acute bacterial endocarditis infectious mononucleosis viral infections and protozoal and rickettsial infections examples like malaria and kala azar in all these conditions one can find monocytosis so what is monocytopenia monocytopenia means decrease in the monocyte count and what are the causes remember that monocytopenia is extremely rare but generally it may be seen in hypoplastic bone marrow or any disease which is related to the bone marrow and this is what is about monocytes leukemias leukemias constitute a group of malignant diseases of the blood in which there occurs an increase in the total wbc count and associated with the presence of immature wbcs in the peripheral blood the total wbc count is usually above 50000 microliter and may be as high as uh, approximately 100000 to 300000 microliter and the proliferation of these leukemic cells takes place primarily in the bone marrow as well as in certain forms of lymphoid tissues there are like associated features of leukemias like bone marrow failure in which you can also see anemia and thrombocytopenia and leukemia can also involve other organs like liver spleen lymph nodes meninges brain and skin so what are the different types of leukemias Remember that leukemias approximately account for 4% of all cancer deaths and these leukemias are classified especially on the basis of cell types predominantly into myeloid 
on the basis of natural history of disease and each variety can be divided further into acute as well as chronic types. In this way, there are totally four main types of leukemias. They are acute myeloblastic leukemia, acute lymphoblastic leukemia, chronic myeloid leukemia and chronic lymphoid leukemia.